Hi guys, welcome back to my second channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at photos that will 100% trigger your OCD. I wouldn't say that I've got OCD, but I'm probably going to get really triggered by some of the images we see in this video. But before we do get into the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And also, let me know if I should start to post on this channel again. I definitely will. I'm currently really bored over quarantine and I've had loads of motivation recently to post. Anyways, we're going to get into the video. Okay, so this is the first photo and I've got absolutely no idea why somebody would feel the need to do this. How could you be so evil? Imagine you've had a long day at work and you come back and you see that. Honestly, that is a nightmare. It's literally got a hole for you to put it onto the toilet rack and they put it through the toilet roll. Okay, so images like this really irritate me for some reason. There was a really nice design and of course somebody's had to ruin it. I actually hate the person who done this. The design looks so good and then they've just slapped a random one in the middle. It doesn't match it at all. Like it's not in alignment. Who in the world would do this? This actually triggers me so much. Okay, so this is another image that triggers me so much. It's just the way it's been lined up. Like, why can't they get it in a straight line? Images like this honestly make me go absolutely crackers. Like, surely it isn't that hard. Whatever builder done this, they need to get fired. And yet again, we're looking at another image of somebody who's ruined a really nice design. Look how nice that red design is. Like, honestly, it would look so good. But of course, I had to miss place a tile. I don't understand how people can do this. Like, you have to purposely do this. There's no way this could be done by accident. Like, honestly, you can't accidentally place a red tile in the middle of black ones. Like, that's just not humanly possible. Whoever done this, I automatically hate. Why in the world would you put one square at an angle? This would have been a perfect square, but no, of course somebody had to ruin it. I'm telling you, whoever done this definitely sits in their room 24-7 and plays Fortnite. Because a normal person doesn't do this. I don't even know how to react to this. Whoever done this is a monster. Why would you feel the need to do this? Like seriously, why? This is actually driving me crazy. A normal person will get a Kit Kat, snap it, and then eat the chunks one by one. I don't even know how they've done this. How could they bite it in the middle without cracking the outside? I'm sorry, but quarantine is really bringing out the weird side in people. Okay, so I feel like a child definitely done this. They were basically doing rows and stacks of numbers. Numbers. And of course I had to do one where the line went in the opposite direction. Why in the world would somebody feel the need to do this? What in the world was going through your head? Does this make you feel like a better person? Does it make you feel powerful? It just irritates me. This image is definitely in some type of really run down super mall or like shop because this is disgusting. First of all, the floor is dirty. Like clean your floors, come on. And second of all, the design is messed up. Why is there a random green chunk in the middle? of the white chunk. Like, who is designing all of these places? Are these designers blind? What in the world is going through their head? They have to draw out the design, map it out, get the supplies, put it down, and then complete it. Why in the world are people doing this? Okay, so I'm pretty sure these things are called figs, but whoever put the figs into the packaging needs to get fired. I don't know why they felt the need to do it. Like, this is actually driving me crazy. I don't have OCD, but this video is making me feel like I have it. Why would somebody do that? Maybe the person who took the photo done it, we will never know. Maybe they were able to magically like turn one of the figs. I have no idea how they would do it and I don't want to know. Okay, so when I first looked at this image, I didn't see anything wrong and then I looked at the second design across right beside the black mark. How are people messing up these designs? Like, is it really that difficult to put a red square above the other blue one? Like, come on. It's not GCSE art. It's not rocket science. I don't understand how these designs are getting messed up. Okay, so not gonna lie, I actually done this as a child. Basically, if I ever got bubblegum, I would always have to share it with my friends and I never wanted to. So what I would always do is basically get the bubblegum and then just bite a big chunk out of it. If your friend sees it like that, they're not gonna want to take a piece. So it means you get to keep all the bubblegum. I know it sounds like a really bad idea and a really evil thing to do, but honestly, if you don't want to share with somebody, just take a massive bite out of the food or bubblegum or chewing gum or whatever it is, and then that other person won't want to eat it. Okay, so this image annoys me, but it doesn't annoy me that much. I feel like with all the other images, you couldn't really change it, but with this specific image, you could literally just reach into the red Skittles or sprinkles, I'm not actually sure what it is, and take the blue one out. With the floor designs, you literally need to get a tiler and then they could change it, but with this photo, you could just put your hand in and pull out the blue sprinkle. Okay, so this used to always irritate me when I was in school. For some reason, these 
file binder things never ever are able to go together. Like whenever you go to close it, one always goes over the other or one goes under the other one. Why in the world will they not go together? I feel like it's low key because I didn't really take that good a care of my stuff. Like I used to always throw it around my room or like I'd sit on it or put stuff on it and it probably crushed it. But honestly, this really irritates me. I can literally feel this image right now and I just want to get it and put it back together so that it's symmetrical. Okay, so I've got absolutely no idea how this image occurred, but by the looks of it, somebody has broken or pulled one of the tiles off. I don't want to think about what they were trying to do or how they done it. What in the world would make you want to pull a tile off? Okay, so this image probably irritates me the most. I know exactly what's happened. Basically, that's like a drainage system and there's like a big white line, I'm pretty sure, for like parking or like a road design. Basically, that drainage system, I can't remember what it's called, but you can pull up like a little cap and then screw it back on. And somebody's obviously pulled the cap on and then screwed it back on and it hasn't went back properly. If I were this person, rather than taking a photo, I would probably just fix it. But honestly, I'm hoping that this got fixed because if it didn't, I'm actually gonna go crazy. This image really irritates me. All of the lines are in perfect alignment. And then of course, there's just one that just isn't in line with everything else. Why in the world is it not in line? For some reason, I just want to Photoshop this photo so bad, so then it goes in line with the other ones. It actually would be so satisfying. Okay, so I had to read this image a couple of times. For some reason, my head automatically changed to 23rd. But if you look at the image right now, it actually says 23rd and annual. So instead of saying 23RD, it says 23ND. That doesn't make any sense. 23 and 23rd. See, like 23rd makes sense, but that doesn't make sense. It's a made up word. I actually didn't spot that to begin with, but now that I have, that's actually kind of irritated me. And I hope the clothing company haven't printed that much because they've got a major problem. Not gonna lie, this image also took me a while to see what was wrong, but now that I can see it, it actually irritates me. I don't know if you can see, but where the cucumber is near the end of it, it's just put some like random fruit in there. Honestly, I don't know why. And that actually has really irritated me right now. I'm pretty sure they just need to turn it around 90 degrees and it'll be completely fine. But this was at Subway. I maybe expect this at like some small food shop, but this is at Subway. This is like a multi-billion dollar company. Come on, Subway, you can't be causing problems like this. Okay, so this mat really irritates me. And I feel like mats are always like this if you walk into a leisure center, if you walk into a hotel, or if you walk into like a chippy or Chinese shop. Why are the mats never straight? They are always folded over for some reason, or they've got some type of really annoying crease in them. Why would the shop owners or somebody there not fix it? Like it's really not that hard. There's been so many times I've went into somewhere and the mat's been like that, and I just get my foot and kick it back over, and then it goes back to normal. Why would they not change it? Like honestly, it irritates me so much. Okay, so this image kind of triggers me and then it also doesn't because I could literally just get my hand as like the sprinkle one and then just pull the other M&M &M over to the green section. So overall, I wouldn't say that one really triggers me. Okay, so this is kind of like the file binder photo. Whenever I was in school, I would always write out my notes really neat or like I would always draw on these pieces of paper. For some reason, these pieces of paper would never rip properly. I don't know if you can see at the side, but there's a tiny bit of a crease. You can actually rip that bit of paper off. But every time I would do that, it would literally tear everywhere. And me being an idiot I am, I would literally bend that piece of paper and start over on a completely new piece of paper. I feel like notepad paper would also do this because I would always ask my friends for like a piece of paper and they'd rip it out of like their book and it would never rip properly. You'd never get a clean piece of paper. It would always have like a little rip in the middle and honestly, it's the most irritating thing ever. It's so small, but it also annoys you so much. Whenever I get into a car, I will never, ever, ever let this happen to me. For some reason, this always happens. And if it happens to me, I literally have to take my seatbelt off, grab the seatbelt at the top and go down and smooth it so that it all goes in the correct direction. How you can sit in a car with your seatbelt like this, I will never know. It's also like being in an airplane. For some reason, people can sit there with their seatbelt being really tangled up. I just can't because it triggers me. I've never hated an image as much as I hate this image. First of all, they've got a load of pencils. They're not in a symmetrical line. Some of them are sharpened and then some aren't, and then some of them are in an opposite direction. What type of monster would do this and take a photo of this? Honestly, that's what I want to know. I just hope after this photo was taken that they fix this, because if they can live their life without fixing this, they are a psychopath. Okay, so I think I know what went on in this photo. Basically, they had an ice lolly, it then melted, and then the stick moved over. I'm assuming that's what happened. 
Nocolitis image doesn't really irritate me that much because I've had ice lollies that are like this. Okay, so I'm looking at this image right now and I can already feel it. Like, do you ever look at an image and you're like, oh, I can feel that it hurts so much? I've got a wheelie chair like this. Like, I'll wheel it right now. You probably can't hear it. But I always have cables on the ground. It's a really bad habit of mine. Like, I've literally got about 50,000 cables. There is always that one cable that's on the ground and then you run over it and it completely ruins it. Like, it literally gets stuck in the wheel. I'm actually gonna look for a cable right now because this happened recently. Okay, so I'm trying to get the camera to focus in this wire, but as you can see right there, it's literally bent and it irritates me so much. I feel like you can see it much better there. As you can see right there, it's bent and it actually irritates me. I've got another charger beside it and this one right here is completely straight, like it's got no bends at all. It's a completely normal charger and it looks pretty new. However, with this charger right here, it's got a really annoying bend right there. You can literally see it if I hold it like that. Like, look how wonky it is there. Basically, this wire was on the ground and I ran over it on my chair and it actually breaks my heart because I feel like it's low-key gonna stop working soon. But I'm looking at this image right now and I can literally feel it. I know the pain of this image. And honestly, it makes me wanna cry. Anyways, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave like and subscribe and also comment over videos I should do in the future. I felt really motivated recently to post again on this channel, so expect daily uploads. It's gonna be a struggle, but I'm gonna grind it out and post loads of videos. And yes, I will see you all in my next video.